hell of a night, huh? You don't know the half of it. I guess I should apologize for landing this mess on your doorstep. Wait, you started this fight? Kind of. <laughs> wow. You don't really seem like the type. Trust me, I'm not. Excuse me. Can I ask you a couple of questions? Sure. Thanks. Don't I know you? No, I don't think so. Yeah, you came to my support group, right? For parents with autistic kids. Yeah, right. You were pretty quiet that night. How's everything going? All right. Listen, I hear that some of this commotion was started by you. So could you tell me about what happened? Um, I don't know. I was just walking by. Just dropped my son off at the park with his mom. I heard some shouting, and it was an Aryan march. God, and poor Charles. I mean, what is going on? That's what I thought. I was just standing there in the middle of it, and these jerks started yelling all kinds of crap at people walking by. You know, there was a couple of black guys, and this woman who was, like, Muslim or something, and I just kind of lost it. What do you mean? I don't know, a reflex or something. Before I knew it, I was charging up to one of these guys with my fist in his face. You threw the first punch? I'm not proud of it. And normally, I would have just said it's someone else's problem, but, oh, these guys make me feel ashamed of my own race. But that is my problem. That was very brave of you. I guess. Once you've had a kid with autism, nothing else really seems brave anymore. Oh, here's the source of the infection. It's necrotic. I can't save the spleen. The damage is too extensive. DP spiking. Talk to me, Dr. Geller. What's going on? The spleen just disintegrated in my hand. What? We need 10 more units of blood, stat, and antibiotic solution. Come on, people. We're going to lose them. yourself at the one person you know I can't stand. How is that not about me? I wasn't thinking. I, I was in shock. Yeah. Yeah, I remember. I was there for you. Remember that? Yeah. I didn't need a friend. I needed someone to be lost in. It could have been anyone sitting at that bar, and it just it was really bad luck that it happened to be your brother. You know, Claire, we joke all the time about guys, about how screwed up we are, how we're always chasing the wrong person. Whatever. I just thought you had more self-respect than that. Maybe I don't. Well, I'll pack up my stuff and I'll be gone by the weekend. Tell Syra about what happened? That's not your business. I, you know, it, it became my business when you screwed my best friend. Okay. Listen, I know this is complicated. The truth is never complicated. Yeah, well, my life right now is complicated. So I'd appreciate it if you just back off and you let me figure this out on my own. No, uh, I'm sorry. I can't do that. I've seen you do this your whole life, Leo. With girls, you just 
You just reel them in and you get bored with them. I'm not bored with Syrah. But I'm not gonna let you do it this time. Not with someone as nice as Dr. Batra, and not with my best friend. Kyle, I just can't stay believe out of this, that you okay? took advantage of Claire like that. She was devastated with Ryan dying. She with... kissed me. <laughs> I can't believe you used her like that. Do you think I'm proud of this? Don't you think I get it? I have this incredible woman who I'm completely falling in love with. Who might be the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. And that might potentially end. And tell her. It's not that simple. Tell Syrah the truth about Claire or I will. I'm giving you this chance. To step up and be a man. For once in your life. Robin? Robin, Robin, Robin. Robin, what is it? What is it? I'm so glad. Shh. Oh. Shh, it's okay. I can't do it anymore. What? I'm so sorry. What is it? What is it? Is it the baby? Is, is his touch no, okay? What is it? What? Talk to me, Robin. It's dead. I'm so sorry. What? I wanted to tell you, but he wouldn't let me. Robin. What's happened to Robin? Robin. Dad has colon cancer. And he had a complication tonight. He had an infection that spread bacteria into his bloodstream, and he just had emergency surgery. I'm sorry, Mom. I wish I could say it went better. You're watching Night Shift on Soapnet.